Right, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Flamenco. Today's episode, Copa Libertadores final against Allianz Lima, a team that we beat 5-0 and 6-0 at the start of the season in the sort of like the South American version of the European Super Cup. But before we start, big thank you to Paul Columbani, who has become my first channel member. Muchly appreciate it, mate. If you want to support the channel any further and be an absolute legend, just that little join button up above. Right, let's get into it. Surely, we can't fuck it up. Right, here we are. So, since last episode, where we had the 3-3 and the 3-1, um, we've notched up three wins, good solid performances, we had a little bit easy, we, the only away, they were two at home, one away, um, we were 2-0 up after three minutes as well in that one. Um, Fluminese, we just had Bruno Enrique, came back for one game and he's got himself injured, so he's unavailable today, which is a bit of a shame, because he's had a really good season, look. 19 goals in 38 games, 10 assists. A lot better than Arasita. Um, so we've got a little bit of thinking to do where did today's game. Now, league table-wise, it cannot be any tighter. Paranese slipped up. So we are topped by five points. Both teams below us have got games, games in hand, which are today, I believe, or tomorrow. So we'll have a look, little look at them. Paranese are away at Corinthians. Cruzeiro are away at Sao Paulo. Our last two games are Sao Paulo at home and then Atletico Mineiro away from home. So next next week's episode will be the climax to the season. We'll play both games, the Sao Paulo game and the Mineiro game next Saturday. And then hopefully, if we get a win today, we'll have bonus episodes of the Copa of the World Club Cup. Right. Let's get in. Let's pick a team for today's final. I think everyone else should be pretty much okay. David Luiz was struggling slightly. We're going to put Rafinha in. Let's just have a look. Matazino is absolutely knackered. So we're going to have to go Clubino, which is fine because he's got an average rating of 7.39. He's obviously had a good season. This one's bugging me a bit. I've had a seater there. My only other option is we could put Barbosa in there. As an inside forward, Neres across there and linking up. But I'm going to have to keep Barbosa and Biandi together. I don't want to upset. I don't want to upset them too. Right, let's make sure we have some decent players on the bench and get Trakau in. Lucas Silva's injured. Bruno Enrique is injured. So we've we missed a few potential. Lucas Silva, Motta may have started. Matazina would have done. Bruno and Rico. So we're four missing. Well, it's going to have to be five because there's no chance in hell. David Luiz can play an 82% fit. Oh dear. So Thula will have to come in. To rest him completely. Right, okay. We should be okay with that. Right, so here we go. I can't I cannot honestly see us not winning today. It would have been nice to play a Boca in the sort of like the Copa Libertadores final. Team that we haven't really come up across. Right, here we go. First highlight. It looks like it could be potentially be a counter-attack for us, Biandi. Oh, he slipped in at a seater. Oh, he should have scored. Missed an absolute sitter. Just had to put it either side of him. He blasted it straight at the goalie. Right, can we get the ball down? Thule ahead. Rafinha, we're going to lose it here. I think we're going to have a go at us. Can we break it? No, we have done. Trakau stepped in nicely at a seater. That's rubbish, but we might get away with it here. Might get, we are going to get away with it. Barbosa, those mistakes all over that highlight for them and for us. They made the crucial one and Barbosa has notched up his 43rd goal of the season. He's not going to quite reach 50, I don't think. Uh, Biandi's on 42. It would have been good to get one of them to 50. They've had to share the wealth a little bit. You never know, though. A couple of goals in every single game. We've potentially got what? Today, two league games, two cup games, so five games, you never know. It's doable. Right, Adesi 2 he's good from set pieces. He's found Biandi. Are we getting a penalty? Looks like it could be a penalty. Biandi was pushed. It won't be Barbosa, though. It'll be Trakao, the left back. Yep, penalty. It will be Trakao. Looks like the left foot. 
There he is to make it 2-0. Oh, <laughs> absolutely smashed in. 2-0. Half an hour into the game. We are coasting. We'll get another one before half time. Ario is injured. Let's get him off. Let's go. Oh dear. I'll have a little think on that one. We'll see try and see it out till half time. Might have to change it up a little bit. Yes! Biandi, 43rd of the season, 3-0, 33 minutes gone, cruising to a Copa Libertadores final victory. Another trophy, like Calvino, Neres, stepped in Rojas, and we'll get it back, we'll get it back. Oh, nice little bit of football from Lima, they're going to get himself a goal, they will do, that's terrible defending, he should have cut it out, who was that? Chow, maybe. And then Clubino should have at least tracked the runner. It's a 3 1. And another highlight. Come on, let's win it. Let's win it. Vasquez. Right, here we go. Another highlight just before half time. Oh no, Vasquez. Oh, he slipped. They're going to score again. They have scored again. Aye, aye, aye. Well, we look like we were cruising to a final. Final victory, should I say. And they've scored two goals in what? Two minutes? One minute? 39 and 41. Shambles. Right, we're going to have to do some changes. Adios struggling. We have got Ronaldo. That's a natural fit. Hmm. I won't say I'm worried. I still think we've got too much for him. But we were coasting. Clabino. Piandi's good in the air. Rafinha. Oh, terrible goalkeeping, but we'll take it. Two goal advantage restored. Rafinha's happy with that. 12th of the season. Not great goalkeeping, was it? But it never is in FM, FM 19. We well, got an hand to it. I wouldn't call that the match engine. I'd just call that a bad mistake from the goalie. How we're we looking fitness wise. I think we've got a week's gap between the two between the next league game as well, so we don't have to worry too much about fitness. Barbosa, square it. He's gone himself, he's nutmegged the goalkeeper, I think. It's five two. Right, what we are gonna do is Barbosa is a little bit unfit. We'll go Lincoln and we'll get the two youngsters on, because they're my main men, Biandi and Barbosa. We could Perhaps cover everything else. They probably won't be happy that they both come off. So we've got two youngsters on, Lincoln and Cancelo. Ciao. And they're going to get another, another go at us here. Keepers come for it. He's done well, says that. <clears throat> It'd be good for FM20. Just the occasional time when a goalkeeper comes out for it and he kind of fumbles it or drops it or not the ones that we see that are obviously the match engine but an actual goalkeeping mistake where they come out, yeah, come out and claim a cross, drop it, that kind of thing. That would be good. Cancelo's in. Oh, laggy. But we knew it was going in. It was a good finish. One of these players that I'd have liked to have, looked, liked to have worked with a little bit more if the save was continuing, but never mind. 6-2 up, final. We'll take it, won't we? We're just going to... Oh. We're just going to bring it on to Cautious. I think it does help slightly with the match. Right, Rafinha. Are we going to get a seventh? Neres. Oh, Lincoln. Lincoln's had a very average season, but he's managed to notch 17 goals. So it ain't bad, is it? Ain't bad for the youngster. 20 years old now. He's valued at 17 million. Chinese teams after him. It would have been another year doing a little bit of rotation and then I think Biandi would have peaked by the end of next season. And we'd have looked at moving him on and then Lincoln stepping forward. Adesita cleared. Thule. Neres. Rafinha. We get an eighth. Oh, is that a penalty? Oh. This is the most annoying one, isn't it? Because we all know he's going to say it's outside the box. Here we go. The last, probably the last highlight of the game here. Is it going to be 7 3? 
Oh, nice little ball in. No, it's gone out. That's going to be the end of the game. Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Miles. Great highlight. They should do just the half time. Just like you do at half time. If there's no highlight, just, just end the half. Just end the game. And there we have it. Win. Couple of little Badores. I don't know. That should be a little bit of money as well. For whoever's going to be taking over. So, 9.21 million. Nice little bit of chunk of change. We've given out <laughs> one sister. Who I've never even heard of. He's an 18 year old Colombian. Who that we signed. Alright. So, play for potentially for the future. Um, he got 970 quid out of us winning it. Even though he didn't kick a ball. Brilliant. Give out 3.3 3 million in squad bonus payouts. Look at the balance. Look at that balance. £90 million. Pounds. Look at the profit. The profit. The profit last season. The profit this season. So, I said in my 10 teams to manage video, Brazil's a fantastic place. Now, you do struggle to get the big players back across, but you start winning, keep winning trophies. You know, people like Neres, Barbosa have obviously come back across. Rafinha's at a good age. Um, Rodrigo Chow's at a good age. So, you know, I can't recommend being even Flamenco, Brazil, but Flamenco as one. Well. I think it's important to maybe try and find a club that's not in complete financial meltdown like a lot of clubs in Brazil. Flamenco, pretty well run now. Um, no debt. But before we go, let's have a little look, see how the other two got on, see how it sets us up for next week's episode. Beyond, by the way, look at that. Beyond. Average rating of 8.2 for his couple of his dollars. He's done all right there, hasn't he? Right, here we go. Here's the games. Paranese won. Uh-oh. Cruzeiro drew. So that means that we are two points ahead of Paranese, four points ahead of Cruzeiro. So we just need to get one win to make sure they don't win it. Oh, wait, oh. stop that. Get back. Get back. We've got a healthy goal difference. So I suppose a win and a draw, a win and a draw would seal it. Regardless of what Paranese do, I'm pretty sure it goes on. It goes on games won, then goal difference. Right, so we've got that covered because they'll be on, we'd be on 24, they can only get maximum of 24. So yeah, so four points for the title. Next games, Paranese kick off first, away at Chapasense. Cruzeiro got by here, so they'll probably pick up a win there. We've got Sao Paulo. Difficult, but home game. We should be looking at winning that. And then we play Mineiro last. Everyone kicks off at the same time. So, probably we'll go to an end of, end of final game of the season. Can we win three titles on a bounce? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next Saturday for the league conclusion. Like, subscribe, all that kind of thing. Much appreciated. Cheers, guys. See you later.